Raymond's sentence for being a peeping Tom was a good old fashioned hanging. Except for Raymond does not have an egg, but yeah, this is the best thing you do. Ha! <laughs> Welcome back for Rayman 3. Where we just arrived to the Bog of Mugs, where we kind of reached the land of the living dead. Unfortunately, I was going the wrong way. Thankfully, you guys have two new power. The helicopter hat. Disappointed! This officially means we used every power in the game, and uh, this is one of the dumbest achievements in the, the game could possibly throw at us. Using every power once. Yep! That's seriously the achievement. Ugh, where are the. At days of old when it comes to Xbox, where you had to really kick some ass to get some achievements. Yeah! Not that way anymore, is it? Ugh, fucking achievements, just so fucking stupid. Seriously, you might as well just given us an achievement for picking up a red lump. Oh, look at there! I can't an achievement! Heal yourself! Ugh. Sorry, of all the things to get an achievement for, why do I have to be collect every power? Uh, whatever, enough complaining about that. That's what we, that's up there what we came here for. If I can actually lock onto it. There we go. Like age, we got a break open is right here giving us three red gems. No, it's no green gem, but still it's quite a bit of points. Gotta keep from going in the actual swamp there. Um, yeah. Burn a Push your button! Burners are a thing in highly polluted water, apparently. Let's just head where, where that old witch went into. Freddy girls, huh? Take that! Yeah! You can actually do damage to her prior to starting the battle! This is... The old witch. Back in X. And what you gotta do here is, you gotta use a potion against her. Basically, this potion... Yeah, it'll actually turn you into a frog, which is what we need to do to her. And yeah! It, as far as I know, uh, it, it, you can indeed turn into a frog prior to, um... Prior to her stop... <laughs> prior to, um, her... At the end of her dash, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna write... I'm gonna just run around like a maniac. Yeah, Unfortunately, as the as the battle goes on, yes, yeah. But if she does it, she damn, I can't even talk right. If she does it, it's out of rights for a shot. But yeah, you only get a single shot because yeah, she's using a pitchfork, whereas you're just using your fist. And speaking, I was thinking of this fight. The original PS2 version. Had an amazing soundtrack for this fight. Just that's another thing I don't like about this um, remake is the fact that um, they cut this soundtrack as well. I could have swore he could hit her with a potion while she's dashing around. Well, maybe that's another thing that they removed from this version of the game, but I swear I've done that all the time. Just hit her while she's running around the cauldron. Alright, in this latest video, um... Get 
Get away, get away from me, get away from me. Get away, go away. There we go. Okay, charge it up and done. Pokemon is finished. Not only the level of boss fight, but can't you just hunt? Kept the original song as well. Okay, I don't mean to get too hung up over that. We just got hung earlier. <laughs> of course, because every witch has to have. Every witch has to have a mirror. All right, there are plenty of gems to be acquired around here. By the way, that potion, it has an intended use. It has an intended use that isn't, it's going to be relevant a little bit later. Oh. Over now. Jump in the mirror. Like all these limbs are just playing cards, <laughs> whereas they're supposed to be patrolling the area. <laughs> oh my god, that is the best. The hood boom on stealths? I don't know, that is actually different than me. That is a stumble boom. Basically just a um, hood boom on uh, stealths. That's, it's, um, that's it, we gotta do that. And we got another new enemy right around here. This is the Spinderoo. Just punching him isn't gonna do a damn thing. But, what you gotta do is just keep rapidly punching him. And he'll fall off the pier. That's what you gotta do, is you gotta keep punching him until he ends up falling over. As long as they keep your distance, Spinderoos are a joke. It won't attack you unless you get near him. But for now, let's interrupt your card game. Because you gotta crash your party for a slack another job. I don't think Dr. Ray would be too happy about that. The same. <laughs> You got the hurricane fist. Let's knock you down to the swamp. How about being piranha lunch? <laughs> I'm so nice to these guys, aren't I? Also, right over here. There's one of those cages. Walked by. Well, that was quick. Those two hoodlums holding a boxing glove. Get ready for this. Their official name. I'm not joking. Slap dashes. <laughs> yeah. Their official name is Slap Dash. <laughs> Quite possibly one of the most. Why did I just pick up the hurricane this? That bit of stupidity was brought to you by a sip of Coca-Cola Zero. You know, nothing to use more of my brand of soda. 
Regardless, though. Regardless, though. And regardless, though. Um. Hey, guys, is there anything down here? Oh! It totally is. Time to get KD. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Pretty convenient. Gives a green gem and a quick and easy way back up. Me lucky that secret. Yeah, no comment on that. The fact that you can be done in easily by those things. Yeah, it really goes to show just how incompetent the um oh, freaking holos can be, despite the fact that they're pretty much a threat to um pretty much a threat to the world. Okay. Hey, whatever. Can I, can I? Okay, fine. So I'm gonna creep in through the window, window, but okay. Are they opening there? Get past these tentacles. Okay, is there is there anything? I'm, no, there isn't. Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's any way we can actually permanently destroy these tentacles. We, all we can do is just retract them. Oh well, and you guys can take take your take them out. So apparently, we gotta do the um, limbs job for them. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love the soundtrack. There you go. And you drop that box. Okay. Something I gotta say right here, um, the, um, something I didn't say before is that the, um, Hoodmonger soldiers typically take up, take more as they take out. And that everyone, speaking of which, Yeti! You got something I want. <laughs> you're all awesome. Thanks for giving us the soda, even though it's laser detergent, but still. I think I'd be curious though, um, what would um <clears throat> now that I, now now that I say soda, what would a Hudlum brand soda be like? Would it be a cheap knockoff of Mountain Dew? <laughs> I certainly hope that would be the that'd be the case. Yeti! Like okay, I shrunk in you're still I'll never call him um, incompetent again. I mean, I shrunk him down. They he, he still blocked every shot. Damn. That takes skill. <laughs> if I say so. You, where's your license? Nope, you don't have any. Your penalty is death. Really, I question what what good it does to take out take out these two limbs because well they're just basically um, black lungs underneath them and they can reform to um, even more hood lungs at the end of the day. Yes, it does temporarily hold their attack, but still, my point kind of still stands. Also a swamp thought it's okay. 
Okay, sure. Also, how, how strong are these plants? I mean, geez, that's one hell of a fertilizer to grow plants these strong. Let alone surviving this gunk. I, no, I don't think even get taken that to account. The plants should have died. But I mean, why do I even bother trying to make sense of this video game? I'd say Nintendo Logic, but this isn't Nintendo, is it? <laughs> just give me my lunch mini and just continue onward. Boom! Keep it going off the beaten path, though. Um, are we even intended to get that cage that way? I don't think we were. No, I can honestly say we, I don't think we were intended to get the cage that way. We did it regardless. Oh, there's a grappling ring right there, meaning we're going to want to come back. Hey, did I just log into something? Oh. Hmm, I guess I was just imagining things when I thought I logged into something. Hmm, kind of weird. Yeah, very weird. Yeah. One shot. Dude, you, you gotta think of better um, defense than that at this point. What? Okay, I'm really confused. Why not victory fun fair play twice? Literally one after one after another. I really don't get this game sometimes. So many oversights that need to be fixed. I'm sorry. Or at least I get to beat the shit out of slapdash. <laughs> I cannot take that name serious. Oh well, we should we should be actually yeah we're pretty close to the turn of this area. Perfection. Okay, you sound irritatingly like London Tintin. You're like, yay me! Perfect. A new bonus. Alright, this guy. This guy is pretty interesting. This guy. If um, we can run into him. He could be somewhat close by. Alright, this is Count Raza. Yeah, this guy is a hunter, basically. It's his rifle. Every time you hit him, he don't shoot like crazy. You can use his furniture and stuff as... You can use his cannon and stuff... Okay, not cannon. You can use the furniture and stuff as a shield to protect, to protect yourself from gunfire. But... First, 
first and foremost. You got a cake to bust if I can angle myself just right to... No, I'll just do this. There we go. <laughs> I gotta make some waffles. It's clearly the most urgent thing you gotta do. I know, you see these rats? If you're a herbal, set them free. I'll battle to you, give you a couple red lums, and be on the way. That is actually how you're gonna get get back some of your health since there aren't no aren't um, red lums around normally. So if you see those rats, be sure to send them free, okay? Also, if you can get close to them, you can punch them while you're chasing them down while he's just running like a scared little girl. <laughs> The Almighty Hunter, once you do enough damage to him, he is just runs like a scared little girl. I just find that amusing, given that um, he's supposed to be this top-notch um, hunter. <laughs> Alright. Here, yeah, we're just gonna keep hunting him down. While he's hurrying around, just aimlessly, you do want to charge up your attack because you can do a bit more damage that way. Because he tends to run off to the... How did I... I'm not complaining, mind you, but how did I hurt him just then? Because he tends to run off. This game is confusing at times. Okay. During, se during seconds like this, hide behind furniture. Because he will zoom in on you. And if he zooms in too close, this shot is uh, basically impossible to dodge. Whereas if you hide behind furniture, the shots will go up instantaneously. As far as I know, during sniper mode, his shots are impossible to dodge no matter what you do. So as long as you hide behind furniture, you're just fine. But you should be just fine. Okay, maybe it is did it based on damage. I don't know. Apparently, I'm not a duck, but I actually shouldn't imitate. I do an impression of um, Bill Cosby given how much allegations that he's facing. Which I'm wanting to say are false allegations, given the fact that um, women, just like men, are more than capable of conspiring together to attack someone. That might not necessarily be the case. Uh, why are we talking about false rape allegations when we're supposed to be talking about women, damn it? Okay, that was weird. Shot the crates, but it didn't bust. These segments will only, these segments will pretty much last only three um, shots, basically, no matter what. Uh, I've gone backwards, haven't I? Yep, I have. Oh, okay. Good thing I went the wrong way because here he is now. Yep, and boom! Come back! Gamer, cooperate with me. Okay, I got. Okay, I could. Hey, I can confidently say that was not my fault. It's that that was the camera spazzing out. Cooperate with me, camera. Okay. I do like the fight, 
here, given what they're going for here, but um, I kind of don't like how long it kind of takes. Just chasing him down, a ton of a ton of hallways, dodging, dodging his fire in sniper mode. And just be sneaking up. He's done. We're done with him here. So now we gotta return back to where we started. Get over that, thank you. Okay. Come on, camera. I really do like the look of this place. It's, it's somewhat, um, Zarius, I gotta say. And again, I... Yeah, you'd think being a hunter would get that for you. Uh, okay, how many times during, in, during this level that I just, just, that I just mentioned that he's a hunter? Almost 100% of it. In this area. So it's like Splatoon matches where you just point one percent off from victory. <laughs> yes, Razov is not done yet. Now he is dragging around on a um, wrecking ball. Wait. Can be kind of annoying to dodge at times. There's a cage right there. Which will provide you some uh, completion, I guess. Wait, you want to keep punching him while dodging the wrecking ball that he's swinging across. I don't get why he even needs a wrecking ball in the first place. Okay. Right, if you have damage to him, I can actually hit him now. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes, this tentacle will come up. Giving you the hammer fist. What you do is use that to knock him off the um, wrecking ball, but as soon as you do that, yeah, you'll crush whatever segment it's on. If you can do it fast. Okay. If you get it fast enough, you can actually chain combos where you can just keep knocking him off the uh, keep knocking him off this wrecking ball. I just initiated this this amazing chain attack. I have successfully pulled this off before, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do it here. Okay, if, if you could provide me some more of that laser detergent, that'd be great. Thank you. That's always appreciated. Yeah! Suck it, Razov! Kind of more so what I meant is that you can keep knock him off the um you keep knock him off the wrecking ball just over and over and over as a as a bit of a combo chain attack. Now 
There we go. He is done. He's just standing there. Like he's high off a uh, weed. Yeah, remember that potion that I mentioned? Yeah. That was intended to be a beauty potion. But that didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> anyway, holy shit, we're 30 minutes in the recording. Um, normally I play a bonus game here at the end of the video, but it's already long enough as it is. So I'm gonna roll really get back to this beginning of the next episode. So, this is where we're going to end things off. Next time on Let's Play Remnant 3 HD. We'll be doing that bonus game, and we'll be going through the land of the living dead. See you guys then. Also, for the land of the living dead, it sure is, um, quite beautiful and green. Heh. <laughs>